Well, that's us signed up for the for a life of servitude. We can't very well up, up sticks and have every, every man, woman, and child among us set, set out after a king who don't even have a kingdom yet. Yeah. Yeah, we can't just run off and leave the base empty either, huh? Oi. What are you talking about? What are you two talking about? Oh, we were just discussing the fact that we'll need to look for a suitable place of empty land. Piece of empty land if we're, if we're to start building our new kingdom. Er, uh, now that'll be an awful pain in the neck, won't it? Why, you could just raid a village somewhere, start start out with, with that as your base and... No. We're not pirates, understand? <laughs> alright, alright. Keep your hair on. Old Batu was just having a bit of fun with you. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, we're going to build a kingdom. We're going to need a good spot. Location is everything. Cor, look at Roland's face. Talk about serious. That's because we're having a serious conversation. <laughs> but I suppose he does look a little stern, hmm? <laughs> a new nation is like a tiny defenseless animal, by which I mean it's liable to be it's li liable to be swallowed up by the first predator it comes across it, that comes along. The only way for it to grow is to put itself somewhere out of harm's way, anywhere else, and you'll be overrun before you know it. So, what kind of place do we need to look for then? Some place difficult to invade, of for sure, and with plenty of natu natural resources. If you've got both, you've got a chance. Some place like... Right here. Evan and his motley crew of would-be kingdom builders turned their gaze eastward to the heartlands. Okay. These verdant plains were as yet unclaimed by any nation. But would they prove a fitting place for Evan's promised kingdom? We shall see. Chapter 3 The Town That Tempted Fate The Heartlands aren't the Heartlands aren't too far away. Straight down the mountain and past the ruins. Can we fly there? Well no. It ain't exactly that we can't fly there. But it's the winds of a cloud coil canyon that's, that set the old skyscrapers the soaring sea. Beyond the bounds of the valley, things can get a mite hairy. Mm. I see. I think I'd prefer to walk. Listen here. Going by land ain't necessarily much the safer, lad. There's a gaggle of bandits been bothering folks down around the ruins there of late. Huh. Bandits versus pirates, huh? Sounds like quite the showdown. Yeah. Yeah, there's loads of them as well. It won't be pretty. We'll have to go mob-handed. We've, we've a couple of halfway decent leaders, leaders of men among our number. Fetch that pair of numbskulls, will, will you, girly? Boss! You rang, boss. Kun, no, listen Kunbish. here. We're away to set, set up a new kingdom down there in the heartlands, lads. And we'll be needing to smash our way through Bandit or two to get there. Which is why you and your men will be joining us. <laughs> ah, battle! Ah. Sure, and it's been long enough. Hey, <laughs> hey. <laughs> Scrap boys, at last. Yahar. Huh? What are you doing here, Geralt? Only sent for this this here pair of scurvy dogs. Sorry, boss. Fancy to peek at this brave new world the, bil the boy's building is all. The more the merrier, right, Evan? Um, of course. Well, if it's all right with the lad here, it is all right with me. Just you be sure and make yourself useful, you hear? Aye, aye, boss. How do, what is that? How does that work? I'll be fighting beside you from here on out, lad. I'll leave the tactical tinkerings to you, but just you shout if, you, if I ain't doing as you need me to. Cool. I'll be counting on you. I have a father and daughter in the party, that's weird. That's not common. Thank you, Batu. We'll be counting on you. The Cloud Snake himself is part of the team now, huh? We couldn't ask for a more formidable ally than that. Alright then, looks like it's time to head for the ha for the Heartlands. Our 
Heartlands, Homelands. You can use the party menu to select which three characters. I, I miss, yeah, these three, obviously. Nicholson Cup, yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. Ah! Uh, How do I go to the Heartlands? Oh, really? I go this way? I just get out of the village? Okay. Let's go. How do I go to the Heartlands again? Okay. Ah. Fuck it. Kind of lost. I can go either way. Heartlands, homelands. Nope. How do we how do we get down though? Oh, just go down the canyon. That makes sense. I'm actually not sure how I'm gonna do that. I just, I just go around, right? Watch this! Voice. I'm doing great. Ah, uh, right. If I can avoid this fight, that'll be great. Right, that's Cloud Coil Can Canyon, which is where I came from, so I just go this way. I came from there before, you know. You know. You know. Leave this to me. That was effective. That was our team then. Yeah. Don't. The dogs, the dogs will be just beyond here. The bandits, you mean? Aye. Aye, that I do. All right, time to the, for for Kunbish and Chingis. Okay, I get I get what they're doing. Chingis Con. 
Uh, to make their sorry hides useful. Let's get this battle underway. We plant a standard of, for our troops to muster beneath. When you're ready to take to the field of battle, come come there and say a word. Okay, say the word. Okay. Skirmishes. Skirmishes are army on army battles in which Evan takes to the field to command up to four units. The aim is to, is to have him guide his troops to victory. In order to begin a skirmish, approach the standard planted in the ground nearby and order your soldiers to form ranks. Okay. I mean, what do you mean the recommended level for this is level one? Uh, uh, okay. During briefings, you can prepare your army for the for the skirmish ahead by checking victory conditions, assessing enemy forces, boosting your might, and picking units. What is... Okay. Okay. Not enough influence. How do I... See... What? It's the only thing I can do, right? How does this work? <laughs> the hotlands here is a oh, I couldn't read it. <sighs> God, the boneheaded devils never change. Curse them. I can't read those. We have to. How does this work? What? Okay. When a unit Evan con controls encounters an enemy, it will attack automatically. You can rotate units to the left using L1 and to the right using R1. No, 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 that I know. Listen here. Are we doing things right? Okay, that was great. By holding down one, one, uh, one or the other button, you can have your forces move more quickly or launch an all-out assault move that will see them attack the enemy in a fast and furious fashion. Hold X, hold square. Okay. Can I destroy these things? Is there a benefit? Is there is there any benefit to doing this, to destroying these things? Enemies military might. What, what, why do you say I can't? Why can't I? I don't get it. Okay. Whatever. 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 Uh huh. Each unit type is strongest. Certain other units. Swords are, are strong against hammers. Hammers are stronger against spears. The spears are stronger than swords. When your troops are, set, are at a disadvantage, you will see a blue arrow. When, when you, they are at a disadvantage, a red one. Try to keep your units in the most advantageous huh. positions. Oh fuck. Shooting at them. This work. No, they're strong against. Yeah. Spears are strong against. against yeah, they got it. Okay. I'm still doing great. Special tactics. Each unit can deploy its own special tactic. These can be used when the when the unit's special tactic gauge is full. But be aware that this will cost military might. Military might is the power you use to, to order your units on the battlefield. You'll have a different amount depending on the type of engagement. So try your best to use it wisely. Chingy's special tactic calls down sky skimmers to to bombard the enemy. Kunbish, Kunbish. 
uh, special tactic temporarily roots the enemy to the spot with terror. Hold R2, okay. Here we go! Cost military might, right? Damage though. Can we recover? <laughs> wait, Maya. Wait, Maya. Do okay. I don't get it. A unit's current health can be gauged by how, my how many soldiers it has. To replenish it, hold circle to spend some military might to on calling for reinforcements. Okay. We can't afford to lose. We can't afford to lose. We can't afford to right. lose. Okay. Okay. Can't heal anything else. Hmm. All right. Well, no. How am I gonna do this? No, listen here. Understand that. That was it, though. I beat them. Shock tactics. Activate shock tactics to make all units, all unit types, effective against all others, and greatly slow down the 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 rate at which the mighty the might gauge is depleted. If your units are poorly matched or you're in trouble, try pressing triangle. I don't think I remember this. Hey, I thought I thought I told you strongest to wait for me. I don't know what to do with these. Everyone laugh! We can't afford to lose! Oof. Fuck them up! Fuck, fuck these guys up! Doing this right? I don't think I am. Can't I heal? I really want to heal. We can't afford to lose. Yes. All right. Done. You're not done yet. Get you. Don't worry. We'll hmm. pay for this indeed. There's original. Come on! Come on, everyone. Now we can get to the heartlands, heartlands at last. Oh, we did it? Okay. Oh, they leveled up. Cool. I don't know how that works. Yeah! Easy peasy. 
And that laddie is how it's done. Don't go forget now. I shan't. Thank you, everyone. The army menu can, can be accessed from the main menu. Here you can check the capabilities capabilities of the units that you'll use in on in army army on army skirmishes, and when you've recruited enough of them, pick which ones will go to battle. Cool. Nice. Oof. Here we are at last, the Heartlands. They are beautiful. Wow. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lovely cool breeze, isn't there? Golly. We're really going to do it, aren't we? We're going to build a kingdom. How are we going to, going to do that? Okay. So it starts. It starts like like this, I guess. Yeah, that's all the tins pitched. <sighs> Thank heaven for that. I'm pooped. But we can't can't live in tents forever. We'll need to think about putting putting something more permanent in place. And for that, we'll need no natural resources. Mm. Ah yes, building materials. Right, some good quality wood would be a start. Well, that's easy enough. The forest of Niall's just down the way. We'll go and chop ourselves a few choice logs, shall we? Oi. You can't just go chopping down trees willy-nilly. What do you think Niall will, will have to say about that? I'm guessing he's the owner of the forest? Yes. Yes, he's the leader of the Greenlings. They're the creatures who live there. Nothing happens in the woods without his permission. Then we must go and speak with him. I'm sure he'll give us his blessing if we explain the situation. Ha! You've clearly not met Niel, Niel, lad. He's an incurable old skinflint. Tighter than a hangman's noose he is. You'll get nothing out of him for free, mark my words. Then we'll just have to cut a deal. I've brought my fair share of hard-nosed cu customers to the negotiating table in my time. Mm -hmm. What's that now? Ah, uh, never mind. Let's go see this Nile, shall we? But wh what do I do? Okay, here. Just looking around. There's nothing, no not even items to pick up here. That's fine. It's fine. He's safe. going uh-huh kingdom to come that's clever should I avoid that manticore might be a little strong for me might be oh 
that that is pretty far away. It's a weird symbol as well. Grimchill Ranger. Oh, that thing is, has a weird symbol. Don't know what that is. Clamster Pranger. Pranger Rang Ranger? I don't know what that is, but I'm guessing it's... Excuse me. What's wrong with that monster? It seems different from the others. Oi. It'll tell you tear your head off as soon as look as soon as look at you. That's what's wrong with it. The ones with the weird aura around them are kind of infected with evil. It makes them go all go even loopier than normal, as if they weren't enough of a nuisance already. There are some good bounties on offer for beating them, but that's because they're tough as anything. I wouldn't go near one unless you're feeling particularly brave or particularly stupid. Got that? The infected ones are proper pain. Don't say I didn't warn you. Tainted monsters are monsters that have been infected by a mysterious and malign influence that sends them wild, making them making them much more dangerous than dangerous than usual. They attack without provocation any and all who approach them, which is why valuable bounties are offered for ridding the land of their menace. Dare to face these horrors? For more information about tainted monsters, please look at tainted monsters of. Under the library section, the menu. What will we will be added as reports of sightings come in. Okay, but I'm not gonna fight it right now. No, we know how. Oh, just got dark. Great. Fuck, it's. Careful, everyone. Why is it so many now? Fuck! Ah! Yeah, I'm taking a lot of damage. Do something about that. I need your help. Yes. If it's healing, please thank you. Voice. Oh, there's there's something here. Mm-hmm. Is there something back here? There is. There's a treasure chest. Treasure chest. Jumping around. A pair of gutsy boss gutsy boss's boots. Hey, hey! Grimchilla Clasher. Watch this! Like that? It's gotta be all of them. Cool. I get there. Seriously, how do I get there? Come on! Fuck, that didn't work. Stop interrupt interrupting my attacks, please. Getting a bunch of stuff. Eee. Okay. Who am I missing? Boom. That no, that's not the place. Okay. But I gotta go over that bridge. Got it. Got it. Watch this. Fuck yeah. That worked. Bunch of damage. Lots of damage. Take that. Take that. Whew. What was that? Never got to use that. That seemed fun though.
Oh, okay, 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 okay. Fuck. Watch your back. Yeah, take that. Dude, I'm getting so much stuff. Wait, what? That's a thing? Wait. Okay. I'm counting on you. Well, that was it. Holy shit. Okay, now I okay. I have a door here. Fork chopper. Oh shit. I'll do my best. Motherfucker, you better stop. Yeah. Oh fuck. That was tough. Gimme. And gimme. No no more pebbles. I'm I'm hoping the pebbles won't be completely useless in the future. I would be kind of upset if they were. I'll be able to traverse bodies of water at some point, I imagine. Otherwise, all this will seem very useful. Useless. Ooh, boy. This. This. We're pretty strong. Shaka da da don't. Mm-hmm. Gimme Nope. Didn't want to do that. Let's get in there. Let's get in that forest. Weird place. What are those? What are all those notices doing on that tree? It's covered in them. That writing, those are th those are those weird squ weird squiggles they use over at Goldfall, right? Goldfall? Mm -hmm. It's a kingdom on the other side of the, s of the forest. There are even more people there than in Ding Dong Dell. Never mind all that. Now, something fishy's afoot. I can smell it in the air. We'd best shake a leg and find old N Noel. Say. Ooh, yes. Oi. Yes. Yeah. What's going on here? Something real weird's going on. Thank <laughs> you. 
that. Okay, got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. What's up here? What the hell's going on? Mm-hmm, cobbler's nails, yeah. What are those spiky balls? Spiky balls ain't good. Hi. You have to let me work here. You just have to. Ugh. Well, it's not that simple, you see. Huh? What's going on here? Gosh. Looks like they're they're having some kind of disagreement. Listen. We've no needs of, su of such things. I'm sorry. I didn't know how to, how else to say it. Oh. No need. No need of delicious fresh bread. Impossible. You won't regret it. I promise. Please, you have to give me a chance. Excuse is, me. Is everything all right here? Well, it's a little awkward to be honest. This young fellow here, he says he wants to to be Master Niles' personal chef, personal chef, and he will it will not take no for an answer. I most certainly will not. I came here to work, and that's what I'm going to do. Whoa. Wait, King Evan, you're alive. I see you're a Grimalkin. Did you, did you come all the way from Ding Dong Dell? You, yes, your majesty. The name's Floyd. I was tra training to be a chef back home. But, well, when the coup happened and... Well, if you're looking for a place to live, you'd be more than welcome to, to, to come to my new kingdom. We're going to build it out in the heartlands. <laughs> really? Oh, that would be ever so helpful. I was starting to get a little desperate. Yes, I could be your court chef. I only got, I only got as far as learning how to make bread. But it's, but it's ever such good bread, and I'm sure I'll learn, I'll learn more recipes soon. That sounds perfect. I should look forward to find out, finding out what, what, what delicious things you can come up with. Wonderful. The Heartlands, was it? All right. I'll head there. I'll, I'll, he, I'll head there straight away. Thanks. Thank you so much, Your Majesty. I'll see you in, in your new country. No, our new country soon. Goodbye for now. So nice. Oh, Crevens. Oh, you really saved our bacon there, laddie. Uh, we were worried we'd never get rid of the, of the stubborn wee blighter. You're here to see Master Nail, presumably. Well, we'll certainly not refuse you an audience after that little favour. Here you go, now. Okay. Good, I did the thing. They want they wanted the thing to be done and I did that thing, so now I get to go forward. I wanna pick some stuff up first. Yeah, there's gonna be something to do in this forest. I've met you. I met, I met you in the, the previous game. I guess you're still in the same forest. Who are you? Who are you? Maybe I didn't meet you. Eh? Let me get this straight. You're wanting to chop it down a load of our trees and cut them off so you can make your daft wee kingdom beggar. Mm. Um, yes? <laughs> uh, good luck with that, pal. Next time, instead of sending some snotty wee urchin to do his dirty work, tell your king to come and ask me himself, eh? Uh, I, I am the king. Oh, I. Oh, I. Do you think I was born yesterday? Nope, I'll speak to your king and none other, and I'll make no promises even then. I said I am the king. He is. That, that, that's, that is his kingmaker right there. How do you do? How do? Help my bob! Get away with ya. I've met kings before, they're... They've a certain something about them. Dignity, you kin. Gravitas, if you will, a touch of class. Oh. You... You don't see any of those things in me. Fine. He's a very good king... He's a very good king, you will have you know. 
he used to be the ruler of Ding Dong Dell, but then some, some mice overthrew him. Oh, I'm not doing accents at all. And now he's trying to, to build a... Uh, I mean, for the main characters. And now he's trying to build a whole, whole new kingdom, and it's going to be amazing. Crico, blimey, that's right, that's a right old tale. So you're telling me you're young even? The lot the lot they were saying perished in the troubles over that way. Well that's all well and good. I love I love a bit of drama as much as the next man, but I kinda give you give you give you what you need. Old old Puggy's the the one you want to speak to. You mean Pugnacious from Goldpaw? Who's that exactly? The Grand High Ruler, they they, they, they calls him. Boss man over that neck of the woods. King of Goldpaw, you, may, you might say. Aye. Aye, that's the fella. Inviting me over for a wee shake of the old dice, and before I knew it, I'd lost my shirt. So I did what anyone would. I popped, I popped the forest down as collateral on, on one last roll, and, well, I didn't, it, did, it didn't exactly go my way. Now his flunkies are tramp tramping through my, my lovely wood, sticking nonsense on trees and, tra and trying to boot me out on my behind, the heartless devils. So those things on the trees, they're, evic they're eviction notices. Which means the forest of Nile is now the forest of Pugnacious. I've an inkling. I've an inkling you you've been built, you old timer. The game's over and gold power is set to be rigged to beggary. Aye, that they are. Crook is, crooked as a dog's hind leg, the, the, the lot of them. Hmm. Head of state fixing dice games. If it's true, it's quite the scandal. I have a proposition for you, Niall. We need wood, lots of wood. If we get you your forest back, will you give us what we need? Are you joking? Are you joking? If you get, if you get me my forest back, I'll chop the trees down myself. All right. All right, it's a deal. If that's all right with you, Evan. Yes. Of, of course. Poor Nile is is in trouble, and if we can further our cause by helping him, that's all the more reason to try. Let's go to Goldpaw, shall we? Goldpaw, it is. New poster of it. Can I do this? Nope. Yeah, how do I open those? Fuck, I can do it. I can fucking do it. Yeah, seven guilders. Yep. Locked. How do I unlock those? How do I get to get to Gold Palm? 